Hello, my name is Anya, and today we are going to create a calendar which allows for rescheduling of events through dragging and clicking on an event to learn more about it using the Bubble Full Calendar plugin. The first thing I'm going to do is show you the database. I made a thing and I called it a meeting, and that has a description and name, which are text fields, as well as an end time and a start time, which are date fields. I also went ahead and added four different meetings into our database, which we can test with. Now we want a calendar here to display the meeting, so we need to install the full calendar plugin by Bubble. Now that we have that installed, we can find that under visual elements. We want it to display our meeting, so we are going to give it a type of events as meeting, and its data source is going to be a search for all of the meetings in the database. To find the start time of the meeting, we want it to reference our start time field. And for the end time, we want it to reference our end time. For the event caption, which is what you see here as event, we want it to show the current event's name. There are more things you can change the color, etc., but you can play around with that on your own. Now, this is the plugin. We can see that it has displayed all of the meetings that I set up as well as comes with different views, including changing the months and then going back to today, the current date and time, which you can see is displayed in yellow. Now, I also want to check this box over here, which is enable modification through dragging. This basically means that I can take holiday over here on the 17th and drag it to the third. And then we can check in our database and we can see that the start time and the end time of holiday have been changed accordingly to be the third and not the 17th where it was. Now I want to make it so that I can click on this and something will show up over here, which will give me a little bit more information, which in this case, just means showing me the description of the event. To do that, I'm going to grab a group, put that here. I'm going to give this group a type of content meeting so that it knows which meeting it is supposed to be displaying information about. And I'm going to leave the data source blank. So when nothing is clicked, it doesn't have a meeting associated with it. Now, I'm also going to make it so that it is not visible on page load, but it is visible when this group's meeting is not empty. When this has a value, it means that something's been clicked and something needs to show here. I'm also going to make the background a flat color of this pinkish color so we can very clearly see when it's visible. Now I'm going to add a text field to display the parent group's meeting's name and another one to display the parent group's meeting's description. Now over here, there isn't really an option to start a workflow, but if we go directly to the workflow tab under elements, we can see that some elements have come associated with the plugin. So we are going to choose a calendar's event is clicked. And when that happens, we are going to display data on our group meeting. And we are just going to display this calendar's current event, which is the event that was just clicked. If we preview this, we can see that we can click on interview over here, and this comes up. We can change into internship, and this comes up, and it just changes accordingly, and it works exactly how we want. And we can still drag it, and it still works. Thanks, guys.